Hello everyone, welcome to the course of satellite communications. In today's class, we are going to learn about satellite constellation designs. Okay, so we can also consider it as operational NGSO constellation design. Okay, um, non-geostationary orbits with respect to non-geostationary orbit. So there are seven satellite constellation designs with respect to non-geostationary orbits. Okay, so they are ellipso. Global Star, New ICO, okay, Iridium, Orbcom, Skybridge, and Teledesic. What are all these constellations? Okay, we are going to see right now. Okay, first of all, we need to know what are these constellations. So, constellations will be having each constellation will be having several orbital paths. Okay, and in each path there will be several satellites. Each satellite will be or several path of the particular satellites will be okay working for a special uh, communication purpose okay so some way some satellites will be in an orbital path will be working for only for data communication some satellites in an orbital path will be uh, working for an uh, only internet kind of communication some satellites in an orbital or constellation will be working for only telecommunication services like that okay so here we are considering seven different types of uh, satellite constellation designs. Okay, let's see one by one what are they and uh, what are they used for. First comes the ellipso. Okay, so ellipso was convinced as an innovative satellite based solution to extend and complement existing commercial terrestrial mobile communication services. Okay. So this is a satellite based solution. So this particular ellipso constellation is nothing but a satellite based uh, solution, especially designed for the mobile communication services. Okay. So the specialty of this ellipso is how isolated the particular area is or how remote that particular area is you can easily get the signals using this particular satellite constellation. Okay. So Ellipso offers fully nationwide service to every country they are, uh, uh, for which they are providing the services. Okay. Anywhere uh, within the boundaries, no matter how isolated or how remote it is. Okay. So as it is providing service to a satellite. Okay. So no matter how isolated or remote it is, you will be getting a clear cut signal if you are under the sky. Okay. Now, as these ellipsos are working for and telecommunication services, these uh, uses low earth orbit. Okay. Leo, Leo satellites. Uh, we can also call this ellipso constellation or the satellites used in ellipso as an Leo satellite. Okay. So such that uh, they will be directly communicating with the subscribers. Okay. So there are two types of uh, ellipso constellation considered. Okay. First one is the ellipso borealis constellation. And the second one is ellipso concordia constellation. Okay. So the ellipso borealis uh, list, uh, constellation serves areas which are, are with respect to the northern temperature latitude. Okay. And the ellipso concordia constellation okay serves the areas with respect to the tropical and southern latitudes okay this is with respect to the ellipso coming to the iridium iridium uh, constellation okay this particular constellation consists of 77 satellites okay so it is named based on the atomic number uh, which is uh, whose elements atomic number is 77 okay so constellation uh, this particular constellation consists of 66 active satellites, okay, which are spaced with respect to 30 degrees apart. Each satellite will be having an inclination angle of 30 degrees, okay, and with uh, 11 satellites in each plane. Each orbital plane will be having 11 satellites, okay. Now, it provides voice as well as data features all over the globe, okay. If you are communicating this particular iridium satellites or the iridium constellation okay so you can access both voice as well as data throughout the globe using this particular satellite okay so when a iridium customer places a call from a handset or terminal it connects to the directly it connects to the satellite okay and based on the signal it gets 
uh, connects uh, connected to the globe wherever that particular satellite is uh, uh, with respect to the earth gateway okay so based on the point of connection it will establish a clear cut connection with respect to have a good communication point this is with respect to the iridium constellation next comes the global star so global star is also an uh, low earth leo satellite constellation okay so this is specially designed for the satellite phones as well as the low speed uh, low speed data communication uh, purpose okay so this global star orbits have an inclination of uh, 52 degrees okay the satellites or the orbits so this constellation will be having several orbital paths right so each and every orbit will be having an inclination of 52 degrees with respect to the equator of the earth okay so therefore a global does not cover polar areas due to the lower orbit inclination as the angle is very very less it does not cover any kind of polar areas okay so we can uh, consider the snowy areas or the icy areas okay kind of thing okay now um, this particular global star orbit have an height with respect to 1400 kilometers with respect to earth okay so uh, as they are a low earth orbit also these global star constellation or the orbital uh, paths are around 1400 kilometers from the earth okay so these global star satellite helps uh, the call uh, to not to drop okay whenever a person are in uh, call conversion it helps in uh, it helps the call not to get disconnected uh, when the uh, phone moves from one point to another point or from one satellite to another satellite or from one cell site to another cell site this is the best way how to uh, achieve an handoff with respect to telecommunication services as well okay now coming to the new ico or new eco okay so the new ico is nothing but the company okay that was from the uh, international maritime uh, satellite organization so this new ico or the new ico is nothing but it is with respect to the mio constellation okay um, middle earth orbit uh, constellation it is little bit far away from the earth okay so closest orbit is like leo after that the closest orbit is like mio constellation so this new eco constellation will be uh, in this particular mio middle earth orbit constellation so here the inclination of the orbits will be like 45 degrees 45 degrees and since it is having a 45 degrees inclination the orbit's altitude okay is so high such that the global uh, global coverage is also very much possible okay so the coverage is more due to its inclination angle okay as the inclination angle is 45 degrees the orbital uh, the orbit path altitude is also high okay so the global coverage was much more easier to cover okay now this particular new eco uh, is uh, made for two way internet connection okay so it was uh, as the coverage is very much high okay the internet connection or the internet works or the communication with respect to internet okay uh, related to the internet works very much uh, easily possible okay now coming to the orbcom okay this constellation is uh, like uh, two way data communication okay so this particular constellation has having some orbits these orbits are having some satellites okay there is a specialty of these satellites i will be explaining it right now and this is mainly uh, used for to send the short term or short service messages like smss or a short uh, byte of uh, messages okay so orbcom developed their own system around this requirement and have orbited a constellation of satellites uh, with both two way data communication okay so once is to store and another one is to forward that particular messages okay the satellites used in this particular orbcom uh, constellation is also very very light in weight that is almost 40 kg okay and it is very very easy to design as well as it, it is easy to execute as well okay so the single beam is used to develop uh, instantaneous coverage and no onboard processing is required okay 
so a single beam is sufficient because it is just sending a short messages okay so this particular satellites which are present in the orbit uh, orcom uh, constellation they send only a short messages to the gateway uh, in real time and that particular message length is also limited to only a few hundred bytes okay so the specialty of opcom satellite is to send a short messages in real time that is also with limited to some hundreds of bytes okay so that is uh, with respect to the orcom satellites okay next coming to the sky bridge so sky bridge is somewhat similar to a uh, uh, global star with respect to the coverage okay so this particular sky bridge is also having inclination with respect to uh, orbits as it has got some inclination okay it can also cover up to major uh, parts of the world like major population density or major services can be provided for a larger parts of the country uh, world or the globe okay so this particular sky bridge satellites are intended to carry wide band okay so the frequency will be very high okay so these sky bridge satellites are intended to carry a wide band traffic and therefore they use the frequency above 10 gigahertz okay so that uh, a huge data can be transferred for an a uh, huge location of the earth okay so this is the uh, sky bridge constellation okay so similarly like a global star this also will be having some inclination and the last one coming to the teledesic so this particular teledesic constellation also have this particular orbital paths this is mainly designed for an internet like data tra uh, traffic okay uh, rather than voice communication okay so the, all the telecommunication services which you have seen previously they uh, used to have particular data as well as voice but this particular teledesic uh, constellation this uh, uses satellites only for an data traffic okay R more than voice they mainly use for data traffic so the concept of a teledesic is to provide a complete worldwide data communication system okay so above the surface of the earth using the satellites so complete throughout the world we can access data from any part of the world to anywhere okay so for its uh, operations as it is using data this teledesic uses ka band for its operations okay so to reduce the impact of the rain so whenever natural calamities occurs there will be a huge disturbance or interferences while transmitting and receiving the data right so in order to avoid those impact also so teledesic is limited to an elevation uh, of 40 degrees of angle with respect to satellites or the orbital planes okay this is how it manages to send the data even at the time of interferences or the natural calamities okay so more than voice communication teledesic uh, uh, prefers more data traffic okay so these all these are the uh, major uh, satellite constellation design with respect to the non geostationary orbits okay thank you mm -hmm.